The universe pulses with motion, a living ocean of energy, matter, and time. A boundless fabric that breathes and stretches on scales beyond imagination. It is a silent rhythm woven through the dark, a cosmic heartbeat that has echoed since the first light was born. It flows in patterns both gentle and immense, a hidden music that sculpts galaxies, stars, and worlds. Mathematics can trace its form, but no equation can capture its beauty. Galaxies turn slowly in the deep night, their arms spiraling outward like luminous whirlpools across the black sea of space. Each one holds billions of suns, islands of fire surrounded by cold. Some blaze with the fury of youth, where clouds of gas collapse and ignite new stars. Others have grown ancient and dim, their light fading softly into the silence between worlds. Stars are born from dust and darkness. They awaken in radiant fire, fusing the simplest atoms into the elements that build everything we know. Each one becomes a forge of life, a factory of creation burning for millions, sometimes billions of years. Their light and gravity sculpt planets, moons, and systems, shaping the stories that will unfold around them. And yet, every star must one day die. Some fade quietly into white dwarfs, tiny glowing embers cooling for eternity. Others collapse violently into neutron stars, spheres so dense that a single teaspoon of their matter outweighs mountains. The most massive end in an even darker fate, a black hole, where gravity folds space and time into silence. These remnants are monuments in the dark, memorials of creation carved by cosmic fire. Around them, planets trace invisible paths, dancing endlessly through gravitational threads that tie the cosmos together. Some worlds are barren and frozen. Others swirl with storms, oceans, and rings of ice and dust. Each is a chapter in the story of time, written in the orbit of matter around light. And above it all, the universe itself expands, slowly, relentlessly. The fabric of space stretches outward like a great breath, pushing galaxies farther apart, a continuation of the first explosion of light, the event we call the Big Bang. That first spark still burns, still drives everything outward, its echo written across the night sky. There is no edge to this expansion, no wall, no boundary. The more we reach, the farther the horizon moves away, as if the universe itself invites us to keep searching. Every discovery brings illumination and new mystery. Each answer opens a door to deeper questions, as though the cosmos hides its truth just beyond our understanding. Now, with the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity looks deeper than ever before. Its golden mirrors capture light that has traveled billions of years, ancient photons from the dawn of creation. It is a time machine made of glass and precision, revealing the first galaxies, the first stars, the beginning of cosmic structure. What we see through Webb is more than distant light, it is a glimpse into our own origin. Perhaps the universe is finite, with hidden edges we can never reach. Or perhaps it is infinite, an endless ocean of stars and darkness stretching forever. Astronomers now estimate there are over 2 trillion galaxies within the observable universe, 2 trillion islands of light, each with its own stars, planets, and possibilities. And yet, even that unfathomable number represents only what we can detect. Beyond our instruments may lie realms stranger and larger than imagination allows. It reminds us of a truth spoken long ago, that we are the cosmos made conscious, a way for the universe to look back upon itself. Each new discovery brings us closer not only to understanding creation, but to understanding our own existence within it. To grasp the scale, we begin with distance. Driving around Earth at highway speed would take two weeks. At that pace, reaching the moon would take five months. Mars, 60 years. Neptune, 4,000. Even Voyager 1, launched in 1977 and traveling at 38,000 miles per hour, took 35 years just to leave the solar system, 
and even now, it has barely stepped beyond our front door. Our Milky Way holds around 300 billion stars. The nearest, Proxima Centauri, would take Voyager more than 70,000 years to reach. Beyond lies Betelgeuse, a giant red star whose light began its journey toward us centuries ago. Farther still, the Andromeda galaxy drifts two and a half million light years away, slowly approaching, destined to merge with our own in a silent dance of gravity. Zoom out again, and the picture grows vast beyond measure. Our local group of galaxies is part of the Virgo Cluster, which itself belongs to the Laniakea Supercluster, a continent of galaxies stretching hundreds of millions of light years across. And beyond that lie millions more superclusters, woven together into filaments that make up the cosmic web, separated by immense, empty voids. At the farthest edge glows the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the universe's birth, light nearly 14 billion years old. But even that is not the true end. Beyond it may exist galaxies so distant their light will never reach us, hidden forever by the expansion of space itself. Some scientists believe the universe could be hundreds of times larger than the part we can see. Others believe it is infinite, a sea without a shore. Either way, our home is small, a fragile world adrift in a boundless ocean. And yet, on this tiny planet, the universe has opened its eyes. Every atom in our bodies was forged inside stars. The carbon in our cells, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, all born in stellar hearts that died long before Earth existed. We are living echoes of those stars, the cosmos made aware. Every thought is a reflection of cosmic history. Every heartbeat carries the memory of ancient light. This realization humbles us, but it also fills us with strength. For curiosity, our drive to explore, to ask, to understand, is not a luxury. It is our purpose. It is how the universe continues to know itself through us. That curiosity propels us to study black holes, to reach for distant worlds, to map the oldest light that still moves through the dark. Even across immeasurable distances, we remain connected to the stars that gave us life. Now we stand at the beginning of a new cosmic age. With telescopes like James Webb, we are peering into the universe's childhood, witnessing galaxies being born, analyzing alien skies for hints of water, methane, and carbon the ingredients of life itself. And yet, every discovery deepens the mystery. Why does the universe expand faster than expected? What invisible energy drives this acceleration? What unseen matter holds galaxies together? And where, among all these stars, are the others, the voices that may share our curiosity? If life is natural, why is the night so silent? Are we alone, or merely early in the story, too soon or too late to hear another civilization's call? These questions are more than scientific. They reach into philosophy and purpose. They remind us that the cosmos will move on with or without us, stars will die, galaxies will drift apart, and time will continue, indifferent and vast. But in this brief window of existence, we have a chance, to learn, to unite, to explore. The future of discovery will not be defined only by rockets or telescopes, but by how we see ourselves, as fragile wanderers, or as seeds of consciousness, destined to bloom among the stars. The story of the cosmos is not over. The next chapter begins here, on this small blue world, with courage in our hearts, curiosity in our minds, and starlight in our eyes. The universe is vast, mysterious, and beautiful. It waits, endlessly patient, inviting us to look up, to wonder, to dream, and to explore. And perhaps, one day, we will discover that throughout all its immensity, the universe has been waiting for us all along.